In the last part, I let this army of orcs take over my lava fortress so that I can then retake the fort with the most pathetic orc I can find. And here he is, Flog the Runt. He's currently on my side, but I'm gonna hit him until he eventually turns on me and betrays me, and then I'm gonna let him kill me over and over again until he becomes a badass overlord. Just look at this pathetic sack of an orc, look at that, he's mortally flammable, which I've had some trouble with on the past with Baga. And here we go, I'm hitting away at him. You know, if you're a respectable orc, he would have already turned on me by now. Usually it takes only, you know, between five and six hits, but he is going all the way to death. My god, when is he going to give in and finally turn on me? There we go, he finally grew up here. Always hurt the ones you love, talk. And after that last blow, it's time we take this to the next level. Death! That's actually some great dialogue there. <laughs> I'd recommend everyone do this because the orcs just spew out great dialogue whenever they're basically forced to betray you like that. And there we go, two hits, I'm down. Is he gonna... What? Oh my god, he's humiliating me! Oh my god, he's gonna really draw this out, isn't he? Alright mate, come on. Stop humiliating me. Go for the kill. He's being sick because of my armor. Hopefully he doesn't die. Oh, he's humiliating me again. He might die from poison. He might die from poison because he's taken so long to kill me. Mate, just do it. Finish it. Oh my god, again. Surely that's it. That's enough. Walk away. There he goes. He's walking straight off the tower. See you later, mate. What an asshole. I think I found the right orc here. Alright, let's track him down. Hopefully he'll actually kill me properly this time. But he actually leveled up from that, from humiliating me, so uh, maybe it was alright. Let's just do a cool jump onto my Drake here. There we go, look at that. Absolute badass. And I can't believe I just got humiliated three times by an orc literally called the Runt. My god. Here we are, let's just pop into the cave here, through this hole, boom, look at that, absolutely smashed it. Alright, let's track him down, straight into his lair. I can't believe he did that to me, I can't believe he humiliated me like that. Alright, oh, who's this? We've got Schoon the Lucky, who seems to be a slave turned into captain. You know, I used to do that quite a lot. And I've got to say, Schoon, I have absolutely no idea who you are or where you came from. Only thing I do know is that Karagor is absolutely destroying you there. Who is this guy? Where did he come from? He must be from this map, right? I mean, I don't think he traveled that far. He must just be one of my random, like, slaves turned captains from ages ago that I've completely forgotten about, you know? Clearly... He's not that good. He didn't make it into Baga's army. I'm gonna try and make short work of this guy here because he's honestly just like not worth my time to be honest. Things are going pretty well. I'm causing absolute chaos here. Look at that. Fire on the floor. Explosion attack. That Olog is very on fire. Jesus, look at that. Everyone's on fire. Just causing flames. Baga the original would be proud. Baga the original. Baga with a bag on his head. If you know, you know. Alright, he's weak enough to be shamed, but you know, I don't actually think he's worthy of that. You know, I'm gonna try and burn this guy. I want him to come back with a bag on his head. Nope, no healing, mate. No healing. Let's try and burn him. Alright, he's just running around on fire. Is it gonna work? Nope, he's resilient. Ah, that's so annoying. I don't know how to put him on fire anymore. I used to have my throwing daggers be fire, but they're now cursed. There we go, he's on fire again. Is it gonna work out? Right, let's just try and get his health down. Kill him on fire. Kill him on fire, this is it. This has to be it now. He's fireproof! He was on fire a second ago. He must have been dazed and then caught fire. So I need to make him dazed again and then catch fire. Oh, maybe the ghouls will take him out here. That would also be nice. You know, I just want him to die in an interesting way. You know, either die from fire or die from the ghouls. Or die from spiders that would also be a good one you know just something that's gonna you know 
just uh, make it slightly cooler, you know, rather than me just shaming him all the way down. Let's get try and get something interesting here. Eventually, I bring him all the way up here. We're still fighting. I'm going back and forth. I decide I'm just going to kill him with my throwing darts, you know, see if that will doom him. And there we go. He's been doomed. He died to throwing knives. Pretty pathetic. He just throws around in flashbang and then collapses. Like an absolute moron. Who the hell was that? I'm sure that's the last we're going to see of Schoon. Alright. He's not coming back, guys. Mark my words. He's not coming back. Anyway, I've got to deal with someone bigger here. The Runt. He's humiliated me twice. Can't bloody believe that. Absolutely ridiculous. No one does that. Anyway, he's getting shamed. And there, oh, he's hanging out with a mitt. He's hanging out with the bloody, the bloody clever. All right, I'm gonna have to get up there. I'm gonna have to take care of the clever first because uh, I don't want him to steal the kill. So I'm gonna have to kill this clever guy and then I can face, I can face the runt alone. Alright, I've taken the fight to him. There's explosives going off everywhere. I'm doing the poison ground pound here. And there we go. Let's see what this lad's gonna say. He's already enraged. And so two warriors meet on a battlefield to do battle upon the field of battle. <laughs> I really like that dialogue. That's awesome. Oh my god, he's dying. He's on fire. He's not gonna last very long. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I also turned off my hub. Oh, I don't know if, if I recruit him to save his life, he might die anyway. Or do I just like jump out now? Okay, I tried to recruit him. He's got iron will. I'm just trying to save his life. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to let him kill me really quickly before he burns to death because he's mortally flammable. Oh God, just hit me mate. Hit me. Hit me. No, <laughs> he died. <laughs> the clever killed him. No, my pathetic runt orc just died from fire that wasn't even meant for him. He got team killed immediately. God damn it. He had so much potential. So much wasted potential. Oh, Jesus. Now I'm just going to take my rage out on this guy who killed him. He's trying to retreat. This isn't going to plan. That's not happening, mate. You are not retreating. Got my spiders here. They're going to take care of you. Oh, he's vigilant against stealth, though. It's not gonna help him, he is not getting away. He is getting killed by these spiders here. He's gonna get poisoned, he's gonna come back, an absolute freak, he deserves this. Oh, I can't believe the runt is dead. I'm gonna have to find another pathetic orc to take his place. That just, you know, I should've learned my lesson by now, like, these orcs that are mortally, mortally flammable, like, <laughs> I just have such a bad track record with them. Bagger was the same, constantly dying. God damn it. We're gonna have to find another orc. But first, I gotta deal with this lad here. He is getting killed. He is not. I'm not allowing him to come back. He's thrown up there. Hopefully the poison will take him. There we go. The poison or the fire. There we go. He's on fire and he dies of poison. If he comes back, he'll come back. An absolute monster. God damn it, runt. Can't believe that. His body's already gone. What a pathetic orc. In the next part, I'm going to be finding two new recruits that will take the run's place and hopefully become the pathetic overlord of this lava region. Cheers, guys. Subscribe for more of that delicious Shadow of War content. Come on, it's probably free to do. And if it isn't, maybe it's worth the money. I don't know. I haven't checked it out yet, but you can trust me. I'm an anonymous voiceover.